Hi everyone, David A. Cox here with Tech Talk America, and today I'm going to teach all of you at home who are starting to get into Final Cut Pro editing how to censor something. So for example, how to blur an object, whether it's a person or a license plate. Coming up next on TechTalkAmerica.com. Welcome everyone, I'm gonna show you how incredibly easy this is. Now, let's get to the quick disclosure, all right? There's a painfully manual way to do this, and there's a really simple way to do this. We're going over the simple way today. So, in order to do this, you're gonna need a handy dandy little plugin called M Sensor by our friends over at Motion VFX. You need to pick it up, link down below in the description of the video. Let's get to it. The, uh, by the way, it's $59 and it works wonderfully. If you are into video editing, this is something you will absolutely use again. So I'm going to use an example here uh, of a shot um, from a video that I produced about six months ago for the Chamber of Commerce here where I live in Provincetown, Massachusetts. And we're going to use uh, one of these gentlemen in the background as an example. So this is just a really quick shot, okay? You'll see what it looks like. I'm going to just mute the audio because it's not really important, okay? So we just have people in the background and we're just going to blur them. So what we're going to do is once you have M Sensor installed and it's really straightforward, what we're going to do from there is go into the effects panel here in Final Cut Pro. Now that'll be over here on the right hand side. Look for this little handy icon and M sensor should now be in the list below. From here you're going to basically be dragging whichever one of these resolutions matches your footage over and on top of the, uh, the shot. So in this case this is just basic 16 by 9 1080p footage so we're going to drag this and drop it right onto the shot like so. Now at this point, if you don't already have your playhead at the beginning of the shot, you're going to need to get it there in order for this window to pop up. So from here, what we can do is first, um, we're gonna tell it what kind of shape do we want. Do we want a square or a circle? Let's do a circle, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tell it what kind of an effect we want. Do we want something like a blur, which is right here? Do we want pixelate? or basically just block it out. In this case, it's a human I'm gonna do uh, just a blur tool. And at that point, our little tool will appear here and we can just drag it and drop it right over the object that we're going to blur. You can resize it by clicking on any corner. So let's reshape and also resize. And don't worry, yes, we did tell it to be a circle, but it always outlines it in a box for some reason. From here, watch how easy it is. All we have to do is click track and let it do its thing. And at this point, this gentleman is about to experience what we call accidental internet fame. There we go, almost didn't get it out there. So thanks, Mr. Whoever you are, and I hope you like your shot. So there we go, it's almost done, and that's it. And now if we just give it a second to render, you'll see. Here we go and it's blurred his face. Now let's try something a little bit different. Let's try something that's gonna shift perspective and the most common instance where you're gonna probably need this is a license plate. And we have one here thanks to Arts of Dune Tours in Provincetown. So here we have a shot coming up, okay? Oops, you can see I screwed up this shot earlier. So I did it and didn't delete it. So let's watch that again. Okay, so we have a license plate that tracks through and we just need to blur something like that. So for that, we're gonna do exact same thing with one little difference here. Now, you'll notice here up at the top right, right now I'm in the inspector, we have this right here, track model, and we have two different types. We have object and we have plane. Now, I find sometimes object works regardless, but for this particular version I'm going to do plain and basically what it is is it's a shifting perspective in this case the license plate is coming towards us it's also going by us so it's going to kind of shift this is where a plane is going to be a better option so once again we're going to go into our shot here towards the beginning of the shot we're going to tell it in this case we're going to do a, uh, a rectangle and we now get to pick what kind of effect for this let's just do block Okay, and now we're going to drag this box over here over to our license plate and we're going to just try to get it as close as we possibly can to fit right there. And when you're done, fine tune this just a little bit more, okay. When you're done, just hit track. And once again, it 
And you can see here, as it's doing it, it's seeing that shift happen and it's adjusting it. Just like that. Let's play it back, make sure it did it correctly. There you go. Like I said, it's only $59. It's called M Sensor. You can pick it up through a link in the description of the video. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America. Happy censoring, everyone.